Okay guys, for, so for today's class, you're gonna need a couple things. And I wanna have you get everything ready. That way we can start our class. We, we won't have an interruption. Um, now, if you have something like this, I know most people probably don't. This is just like a plastic ring. I'm sure you guys have seen that. This would be perfect. Okay, if you don't have that, um, I made this little square with tape, okay? So hopefully you can get something like this made up. Um, you know, kids, ask your parents first before you do this. Um, so again, if you can get this, that would be fantastic. I'm gonna take you guys over here to the wall and show you the next thing we're gonna get set up. Okay guys, so hopefully you can see here on the floor, I just have a piece of tape. Um, and this tape is about, uh, you know, maybe about two feet away from the wall. Um, but what you wanna basically do is make sure that um, when your foot is behind the line, and I'll show you this in a second, that you can't touch the wall with your hand. Oh. Okay guys, so you see how I have the, the line on the floor or your belt. Um, we also need to have these post-it notes up here. So I want you to see how close those are. Okay, so uh, we're gonna zoom in on these. So see how this one right here says one and two, this one's three and four, and we're you know a little bit beyond arm's distance from those. Okay, so let me get that set up. Okay guys, so we're actually gonna use that box now. So hopefully you got that taped off or you have a ring or something you can use. If you don't have any of this, no problem, you guys. You're just gonna have to imagine that that's there um, and you'll be able to follow along, no problem. So the first drill, um, you know, uh, we're simply gonna do jumping jacks, okay? Part together like this, part together, but we're doing them for speed. So this works on, you know, that explosiveness, that speed, um, and it's gonna work on your conditioning, okay? So we're gonna do this for, for um, 30 seconds, about 30 seconds. Okay, so um, let's follow along with me and let's get going. Hands on the hips. Again, we're going for that speed, that explosiveness, and go. Part together, part together, part together. So just like that, as fast as you can. This drill helps if you have those knees bent a little bit. Keep going, guys, nice and quick. Okay, I think that's about 30 seconds. Next drill, again, about 30 seconds. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go pop forwards, back, forwards, back. Okay, like this. Okay, let's get 30 seconds, ready, and go. Forwards, back, just like this. Again, if you guys don't have this box, this tape off box, just practice on your own. Just kind of imagine that's there. And that'll give you a target to land in. Keep going guys, a couple more seconds. Oh, okay, that's probably 30 seconds. Take a little break guys. Okay, next drill is gonna be forwards, forwards, back, back. So what we do is we're gonna go forwards, forwards, back, back. Let me show you one more time. Forwards, forwards, back, back. Okay, get ready, we're going 30 seconds, and go. Forwards, forwards, back, back. Forwards, forwards, back, back. Forwards, back, back. Forwards, forwards, back, back. Keep going, guys. more seconds. See if you can keep up with me. Forwards, forwards, back, back. Forwards, forwards, back, back. Okay guys, nice work. Okay everyone, next drill is getting a little more complicated, so follow along here. We're gonna jump forwards, apart, together, forwards. Now back, apart, together, forwards. Let's meet, let me demonstrate that again. Forwards, apart, together, forwards, back, apart, together, back. Now I'm gonna do it with you guys. If I go a little faster than you, just go, go at your own speed. Okay, go nice and slow. 
Um, let me start off slow with you guys in 30 seconds. Get ready and go. Forwards apart, together forwards. And speed is not really important with this. The main thing is that you get the coordination. Oh, I almost messed up there. And if you guys feel like I'm going too slow, start going a little faster. Forwards apart, together, forwards, back apart, together, back. Oh, okay, I think that's more than 30 seconds, you guys. Okay, everyone, next drill is a fun one, but it's, uh, it's not the easiest one, but I think you guys will be able to follow along here. Okay, so um, you're standing next to your ring or your, your square or even your imaginary square. Lift the leg up, lift the knee up that's closest to it. So you can see this is my left leg is closest to the square. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop in, now I'm gonna hop out, and as I hop out, I switch. So now again, the, the knee that's closest to the, the, the ring or the square is up. I hop in and switch, okay? And again, that knee is up, hop, switch, hop, switch, hop, switch. Okay, so um, again, just like normal guys, if you think you can do that um, and follow along with me, do it. If not, just go ahead and practice at your own pace. Okay, go slow. Um, you know, the main thing is that you do it right. Okay, don't try to keep up with the instructors. I've been doing martial arts for, oh my gosh, 30 plus years, long time, okay? Um, so, uh, let's do it together if you can. If not, do it on your own. Switch, in, switch, in, switch, in, switch, in, switch, in, switch. Okay guys, good job, take a little rest. Okay guys, we're gonna do one more round of that. For the more challenging drills, I'm gonna do them multiple times. That way you guys can really get those down. Okay, so we're only going 30 seconds. Again, hopefully you can follow along. Get that knee up, ready, we go. Together, switch, together, switch. Okay, follow along, 30 seconds, going now. Nice work, guys. Okay, let's begin with our stretches now. We're gonna be doing some uh, slightly different stretches as well as some of the, the ones you guys already know. Okay, we're gonna start with what's called a half squat. So you're gonna put your feet double shoulder width apart. Squat down on one leg. You want to bend that leg all the way down, and you can rest your hands on the ground like this. Okay, notice how I have my toes pointed up. If you can, get your heel down on the ground, okay? Now from here, we're simply going to switch to the other side. We're going to switch to the opposite side. Hold this for a few seconds. Look where my hands are at. My hands, my arms are inside of my legs. I don't have this hand out here. I want to bring this inside. Okay, let's go ahead and switch again. Very nice. We'll just hold this stretch for a few seconds, let those muscles loosen up. Okay, and again, switch. OK, 
Okay, guys, so next we're gonna go to the side splits. We're gonna straighten both legs out and slide our feet apart as far as we can, okay? Look how my legs are straight. I don't want those knees bending inward like this. If you want a, a deeper stretch, point those toes up like this. We're not gonna hold this very long today, guys. Just until those muscles loosen up a little bit. Get us ready for today's practice. Okay, that should be good. Now, this is the hard part, guys. We don't wanna crash, okay? Slowly walk your hands back. I'm gonna bring one hand, bring it behind, and I'm gonna slowly sit down. Now from here, just reach forwards as far as you can. Make sure you focus on your breathing. Breathe in, breathe out. Each time you breathe out, you can go a little bit further. Okay, now let's reach over to the right side. Good, now switch sides. Go ahead and power those legs together. Just shake your legs out a little bit, get them nice and loose, and then bring them in for a butterfly stretch, okay? Remember, we can grab the ankles and push down on our legs using our elbows here. Excellent, you guys. Let's have everyone go ahead and stand up. Okay, go into that fighting stance. Now, we're gonna do our stretch kicks um, with our hand out. This just gives us a target. Now, we've been working on really keeping that head up, so I don't wanna see anyone kicking like this. Look at that hand, okay? And as you look at that hand, you're gonna kick that hand. Okay, with me, let's do 10. Ready, one. Look how my eyes stay up. Two, breathing on each kick. Three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. Good, switch feet. Again, head up, hand up, ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, guys, ten. Okay, guys, let's get started with you guys. We're gonna work on my favorite kick today. It's called the jump inside roundhouse kick. Um, now for this kick, our body wants to be a little bit sideways like this in, the, in our fighting stance. We don't wanna be squared up like this, you know? So get your body sideways. And for me, I put my best leg forward for this kick because my best leg is gonna be the one that's kicking. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn and then as I turn, I bring my back knee upward. And then from here, Jump, round up, super easy, like that. Let's show you guys again. I'm gonna turn, knee up, and you wanna think of your legs here in this position. When one travels one way, the other one travels the other way, okay? So I go, and you see how this one went down right away, okay? Let me show you full speed what it looks like. Cool. Um, so, let's show you the other side now. Because we do want to practice both sides whenever we are practicing anything. Okay, so go ahead, pause this video. We want you to practice both legs for five minutes, and then when you're done, press play, move on to the next part. Okay guys, so this week, um, we've had you work on two main kicks, the spin hook kick, which we uh, did earlier in the week, and the jump inside roundhouse kick, which you did in earlier in today's lesson. Now, uh, I'm gonna have Mr. Badhill face the camera and show you a couple of kicks. Now you can see these kicks, they both, rotate the same way. So if we have a spin hook kick, notice how he's rotating. And if he does a jump inside roundhouse kick, 
Notice how he's rotating. So um, they both look the same, okay? Especially when you're sparring someone, they see that turn, they're not gonna know what kick is coming. And we can use that towards our advantage, okay? So we're gonna work on setting up one of these kicks in sparring. Um, so the drill you're gonna be doing at home is you gotta think about which kick we wanna set up. I usually like setting up the spin hook kick because that's a head kick um, and it can do more damage. So what I will do is I will throw the jump inside roundhouse kick first. Okay, so if you watch, I'm gonna have Mr. Pad, he'll do a couple kicks on the, the pad here. Um, so that jump inside roundhouse kick is a kick that usually goes to the body. I mean, you can throw it to the head, um, but it's quicker going to the body. Going to the head, you gotta get it up higher, that takes a little more time. So in sparring, your strategy is to throw it a couple times, okay? Get your partner used to seeing that so they start to expect it, okay? So uh, I'm gonna have him show me a kick here. Notice how this kick is going right to the body, okay? And I see him turning. So you're, you're, you're um, getting your partner again, expecting this kick. Okay, maybe you wouldn't throw it every time because then it becomes too obvious but you throw it several times throughout the course of the match. And they start to think, oh, they really like that kick. So he does it again, jump inside. Okay, he's been throwing this all day long. And now, you know, as his opponent, I start thinking, ah, I know how to deal with it, okay? That kick comes in and maybe I block it, okay? Maybe I simply step out of the way. Now he's gonna use that to his advantage. Okay, he's gonna throw that spin hook kick eventually to the head, and this kick, the timing is a little different, okay? The, the jump inside round is a kick with the front leg. The spin hook kick is a kick with the back leg. So the timing is slightly different, and that timing is something we're gonna use towards our advantage. So, um, I'm gonna have you face the camera again here. So at home, you're gonna be practicing for about five minutes, Think about which kick you want to set up. You know, if you want to set up the jump inside round, that means you throw spin hook kicks first. You know, you throw a couple of them. You know, take a little break in between. We don't want you guys getting too dizzy. And then eventually you come in with that opposite kick, that jump inside round. Now, if you want to set up the spin hook kick, you know what, you want to go for that head shot. You know, what kick do we start with? You start by kicking low to the body with those jump inside roundhouse kicks. And then eventually you throw that spin hook kick. And again, you can see how that kick comes out a little faster. So that's your goal for the next five minutes. You're, you're gonna hit pause and practice setting those up at home. Okay, if you wanna practice one leg, you know, that's fine. If you wanna switch back and forth between these, that's also fine. Okay, so remember, hit pause, five minutes of practice. Okay guys, so we're doing an in and out drill, okay? Um, now in sparring, moving in and out is, is critical. You gotta learn to get in fast and back out before your opponent can hit you. Okay, so we got this line right here. Notice how my foot is right on the line. Let's just practice the in and out portion first, okay? So when I come in, you know, I have to think about pouncing, okay? Like, uh, if you ever see the uh, National Geographic videos, um, you see how that lion pounces on that gazelle, um, and then we obviously want to, we want to move back quickly, okay? So when I pounce, I'm gonna push off the back leg and when I come out, I'm gonna push off the front leg. It's not step, step, okay? This is pounce and then back out. So let's just practice that. We're gonna start some light bouncing in, out, okay? Light bouncing in, out. Let's do that again, let's do that again. In, out, in, out. You can add some fakes in there, in, out. So that's the drill I want you guys to start with. Okay, so at any point, you know, if you want to switch feet, be behind the line, come in and back out fast. Work on your fakes. So remember a fake. A fake is making the person think that you're going to come in. If you fake and you've crossed that line, you didn't fake, you committed. Okay, and when you cross that line, you're in the danger zone. That means your opponent can hit you. Okay, so I want you guys to practice just your footwork, practice the in and out for three minutes. So right now, hit pause, um, start practicing that in and out, that shuffle, and when you're done with three minutes, come back and we'll add the punches to this. Okay guys, get going, three minutes. Okay guys, so hopefully you did those three minutes. Now let's work on, uh, uh, when we come in, throwing an attack. So that's what these numbers are for. 
one and two. Now a one is just gonna be a jab to the head. So we're gonna come in jab and come back. Now notice I'm not punching the wall. Don't punch the wall. I'm just touching it. I'm just tapping it. So every time I say one, I want you to come in one and back. One and back. Again, like we're pouncing, explode and back. Again, one and back. Now, if you're a little bit more advanced, you know, in between, move the feet. One and back. One and back. See how quick you can do it. Throw some fakes in there, one and back. Now, a two um, would simply be coming in with that reverse punch. So we want to close the distance two and come back. Again, two and back. Two and back. One and back. Two and back. You can even do combinations. One, two, and back. One, two, one. One, one, two, one, one. Okay guys, that's the next drill, same thing. You're gonna do this one on your own. You're gonna hit pause, practice for the next three minutes. Um, okay, get going. Okay guys, next round, um, we're gonna be using that three and four. Now three and four are still just a jab and reverse punch, but these are obviously to the body. Now when we step in and go to the body, let's say we take the jab for example, if I step in, I don't just want to step and punch low, because if I do it towards the camera, you can see how my head is pretty exposed, okay, and I got a big head, okay, I want to drop down here, and now my head is out of the way, it's off center line, it's actually not really off center line, because it's still in the middle, but at least it's not, you know, right in front of my opponent, that's the worst place it can be, it's out of the way, and look how my arm, you know, my shoulder is protecting my chin, okay, my nose a little bit, and this hand is protecting, so I have a much smaller target to hit. If I come in like this, that's a huge target. That's a much smaller target. So when we throw that jab, okay, we want to step jab and come back. Notice how I drop down. That's why we work on those stances all the time. Those stances help you get in positions. What stance does that look like right there? Okay, that's, you know, kind of like a horse stance or a back stance. Um, so there is a reason for those stances. You guys always practice, why are we doing this? This looks silly. There's a purpose, there's a reason. Okay, so let's practice a couple jabs to the body. Three, jab, three, three, three. Move the feet, three. Okay, now let's do that reverse punch. So we're gonna step punch and back. Again, I don't just step punch, leave my head there. I wanna get my head low, turn my hips, have my hand up. Ready, four. So four is that reverse punch. Four, 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 three, four, three, four, three, four, three, four. Okay guys, so that's called your in and out drill. Practice um, the three, four, the low jab, low punch for three minutes, okay?